Um, my Rock and Hard Place took place in uh, mid August 1969. I was a student of the London Film School, and every weekend that I could, or every long weekend, I would hitchhike somewhere around the British Islands. And uh, I happened to do that and end up in Belfast, the capital of Northern Ireland, in mid August 1969. And it was a tumultuous time to be there. There's always been bad feelings between the Catholics and the Protestants in Ireland going back centuries. And uh, for some reason, it boiled up again in the summer of 69. And it came to a head that weekend. And things had gotten really bad. There were virtually an urban war going on. Uh, 1,500 homes were set fire that weekend. Eight people were killed. Hundreds of people were hospitalized. It got so bad, the British troops had to come in at 1 o'clock on Sunday morning, August 15th to set up a, a safe zone to protect the Catholics. It's the first time the British Army ever protected Catholics in Ireland. <clears throat> and uh, as I said, I was there. I, I only planned to pass through for one day. But I thought, man, i, I got to find out what's more about this. I mean, I'm a third generation Irish American. I wanted to find something about the history of my own people. And so I stayed around. And uh, as I would walk, the, the air was just stumped with, with TPS. As I walked around, I kept seeing this graffiti on all the walls that said, remember 1960? And I'm saying, I was in school in 1960. What happened in 1960? And then I finally looked a little more closely and it said, remember 1690? And I said, Jesus Christ, these people are insane. They're killing each other over something 300 years ago. And that's when I decided to stay around even a few more days to try to make sense of it without catching the contagion myself. Well, finally, I decided it was time to move on. I realized there was no way this was ever going to make sense to me. Uh, and it hasn't made sense to anybody there either in 400 years. So I went out for one last walk around Belfast and I uh, got lost in the dark and ended up in a neighborhood I didn't know if it was Catholic or Protestant. And suddenly about uh, six or seven, 17 year olds came walking towards me, stopped me, surrounded me, and said, See, the rock and the hard place is, I was raised Catholic, as, as many Irish Americans were. And in the Catholic Church, the one thing the nuns and the priests made clear to you was if you ever deny your Catholic faith, the earth will open up and swallow you. <laughs> your parents will never know they had you. Your friend, you'll drop <laughs> off of your friend's Rolodex. It is the worst thing you could do. So I got that going for me. On the other hand, if I said I'm Catholic, if they weren't, that could be awkward too. Because they were pretty clearly going to pop the crap out of them. <laughs> And so I was debating, you know, what, what on earth do I do to get out of this? And then I remember the two days before when I was still in the Republic of Ireland, I'd gone and kissed the Barney Stone. That just gave me great confidence. <laughs> it gave me huge confidence. I realized I'd kissed the Blarney Stone. There's no telling what I did. <laughs> so I uh, pulled myself up to my full height and I said, I'm a, I'm a major in the United States Air Force. I'm here on a secret mission. If you lay one goddamn hand on me, I'm going to use this here two-way wrist radio and call in an airstrike and just let in the shithole that you call Belfast. <laughs> <laughs> I said, can you read? I bet, can, can you read? Can you just watch TV? Listen, you seen what we're doing to North Vietnam? We can do the same goddamn thing to North Ireland. Well, that, they didn't know that I was crazy. They're telling the truth, they're telling a lie. And they all just sort of went to... Uh, <laughs> seven, seven early 17-year-olds just reduced to six puddles of pee-pee. <laughs> and uh, I thought I had... They, they were going to invite me to go out for a drink with them. So that's, that's a good one. You're, you're, you're one of us, whatever you are. Just at that minute, I think it was God's way, Catholic God's way to get past. My wallet leaped out of my hip pocket, landed on the ground, flipped open, and stuck inside was a card that a nun gave me that said, I am a Catholic. In case of an accident, please call the priest. I was out of there and they were chasing me fast. <laughs> <laughs> that's, my, that's my rock and roll.